Okay, so we're picking back up where we left off. We're still in the midst of a furious battle. Just, um, you guys are in desperate straits. But, picking back where we left off, Nubal, Sam, and then to you. You all three have a turn before anything else happens, so use it wisely. Furious. Sam, you're going to go up first. Me? I think Nuval's going to go first. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Nuval. <laughs> that dyslexia is hitting me hard. <laughs> or you saw Blue you know Fish. Calling it? Oh, that's Sam. All right. Um, Nuval is going to really hope that Ravison's wisdom is low. <laughs> Because now that he can see Ravison, he's going to strum on his violin in a discordant manner to cast dissonant whispers at a first level on her. Okay. She's going to On roll. them. Her. Let's see what happens with Ravison. Uh, she's got plus six to wisdom saving throws. Yep. Saw that one coming. So. <laughs> she rolled a 20 and a 25. She takes half of 10. She takes five points of psychic damage, and that's it. All right. And Nuval runs away. <laughs> All right, Nuval. Take off, kid. Uh, trying to remember. He was going to go to Thorf, but I don't know if he was going to go out the door and see if he can find that girl first, or he was just going to go straight to Thorf. Let me check You're going to have to go through a werebear first. Is, yeah, let me let me open the kitchen door for you so you can see what's going on in there. Oh, well, it's not, not much view, but... um, <laughs> It's a corpse, a werebear, and then me. <laughs> <laughs> and then more corpses. Two, three... All right. We should have used the don't see. Scene. Trained him to attack. Up to your Speaking north, you got a, a cold light walker, but. Oh, cold light walker. Yeah. That cold thing is not cool that he does. Four. And then, Sam, I hope you're thinking about what you're going to be doing. Five. You're up next. Okay. That girl is gone. Oh, I yeah. don't see her anywhere. Oh, she took off into the night. Well, well, um, this uh, wolf right here is currently adjacent to me, correct? It, you got two wolves on you and a werewolf adjacent. However, oh, werewolf is adjacent because this one over here is dead. Yeah, that one's dead. It's not directly adjacent, but they're adjacent to the wolves. Sorry. Okay. Oh, mm. Ravison's right out of your sight. Unfortunately, I'm going to uh, say out loud, um, because I realize the situation is turning really bad. Everyone fall back to the kitchen. I'll try to buy us some time. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> I'm going to... For the, to, uh, the safety of the kitchen. <laughs> well, my character doesn't see what's yeah, going yeah. on. I know, it's I great. Know. My character doesn't know either. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take... My character knows. <laughs> I'm going to take an active opportunity from this wolf. You can disengage not, if you wish. Not without taking my action. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. I like dying too. <laughs> that, wolf hit? that wolf is going to bite, and that is a 19 to hit. Just one over. Okay. 2d4 plus Damn. 2. That's going to be uh, 7 damage. That's that's the hurt. I guess. Uh, do you want to do you try that again? Are you sure? I mean, okay. Oh, what again? No, I mean, do you want to? Because if you're going to step away, there's another wolf that you're going to take attack of opportunity oh. from. Well, what I was originally going to do was sidle around the wolf to this position, lightning bolt the werewolf, and then disengage next turn to the kitchen after the rest of the party's gone there. Okay, try that. All right. I'm going to attempt to attack the uh, werewolf. 
Uh, hold on, it's been a fair bit. It's, um, it's much R. Or my dice. 24 to hit. That hits. I'm gonna... Gonna, um... Burn that favorite foe. foe so, uh, my last one. Mm -hmm. Since I only have... Let's, uh... Slide. 2, D6, 3, plus 3, 4. Oops. And lightning damage. Okay. And that will be my turn. All right, Sam. No, to you. You are up. Oh my god. Um, let's see. Run. Just get out. <laughs> Tell our story. <laughs> okay. First, I'm going to attack with Psychic Blades, the Druid. Okay. Um. Does the seven hit? A seven does not hit. Uh, oh. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna run. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. Where's Newball? Oh, over there. Okay. Okay. And now I can't see what's happening in the cap in the end. Yeah, it's very scary not knowing what's going on. <laughs> oh, hey, do you? That girl disappeared. She wasn't an ally, was she? I no, she was not. Okay, it is now a werewolf's turn, and that werewolf is going to move up to Sam. Sam, you're going to get a uh, claw attack. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's going to be a 10 to hit. Does not hit. Okay. And, uh, it's not going to make a bite. It's just one claw attack this time. It's already bitten. So, Davey, you are up. Uh, I'm going to... Fuck, I don't got a lot of options here. I'm gonna throw a spear, well, the Yakla or whatever it's called. Yeah. At the druid. Okay. Uh yeah, it's not one of the it's not the silver tipped spear. I'm not getting that thrown that away. But, I got yeah. you. I, I I got I, I see where you're going for. Okay. She's not within 30 feet, so I can't do extra blood curse shit. All right. Okay. That's 10 plus... Uh, does 15 hit her? A 15 hits. Yeah. 15 hits? Okay. Uh, let's do it at level 20. Uh, that's... Uh, D8 plus D4. Uh, uh, eight damage total. Okay. You, across the room, you sling... Uh, now, help me pronounce this. Yikla? I think that's how I you guess pronounce this is good. Yeah. Okay. You throw your yikla. It soars across the room, striking the druid in the chest. It slams into her, throws her back. She falls to the ground, dead. And as you... Yes! Yeah! As she dies, you begin to see that the werewolves and the wolves around you suddenly begin to howl long howls of, of pain and then you start seeing them s begin to transform slowly slowly into 
what looks to be halflings and and a a dwarf fellow who are on the ground unconscious um it looks to be that they were what remained of the town um just normal townsfolk that have uh been transformed by the druid as she made uh, like evil forces of the of the night. The werebear suddenly transform, and you recognize uh, if you were conscious, uh, Thorf, you recognize <laughs> the old form of the old speaker of the of the town, Nimsy Huddle. Do 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 token no layer way. laying on the ground. The um the cold light walkers begin to slowly walk away into the night. Trudging looking up into the sky. And the battle comes to an end. Is Thor for you? No. He's white. Motherfucker. No. You're down? Uh, yeah. Someone? Been down. Uh, Hold on. We... If it's yeah. uh, if we're out of battle, I'll uh, I'll take this opportunity to... Hold on. My mouse is being weird. Check in, check in the kitchen. Um, you see the frozen body of what appeared to be a halfling boy uh what y who you knew shortly as scoop um uh the other folk he never knew a, a little bit longer yeah um oh, right Fuck. you also see the dead form of the cook laying on the ground her body uh mangled by the werebear's claws and what looks to be an unconscious um older uh, woman, uh, halfling woman, laying on the ground next to her. Uh, you also see Thorf, similarly unconscious. Um, he he's also been thrashed by a werebear. Um, I uh, I try to not think about the horror of this scene, other than kicking myself for not having at least one other person back here to secure things. But I'll hop directly to Thorf. And I'll go ahead and um, carterize his wounds, spending my last spell slot. Cure wounds. So okay. The main, guy, the main guy, and they all left. One moment. Now back to life. Zero. It's a one D. Nothing. Uh, no. How much is he cured for? Just nine hit points. All right, he's back up with nine health. Where's it? What happened? My my character just kind of uh, gives a forlorn, like defeated look before just kind of passing out himself. Yeah, I want to pass back out too. Fuck this shit. <laughs> just like see Nimsy and like what the, the, the bear scoop. Did we see that? Uh, it's nice that um, oh, sorry, Sam. Did we see that Sam got like turned? Do we know that Sam is like infected? Um, Sam might if he chooses to communicate with that you, that with you. Oh, do I have to do a this medicine a... myself for symptoms? Like, how does that work? Um, you uh, are beginning to already uh, have the familiar craving of human flesh oh my god um, we're gonna be checking and see what happened after you know we get back up and everything um fennec comes over and she uh let me roll real quick okay yeah she's reckoned oh. she's seen this before um in legends it's pr particularly among the barbarian tribes uh she recognizes that you are going through the process of a transformation into a lichen, a werewolf. Um, even without the presence of the druid around, this is going to be an issue if it is not addressed. 
This is a curse, right? Oh yeah. Right. Four, this is right. not a, a Wait, bonus. This <laughs> Fifth level. This I can entire remove this town curse. is cursed now. You're like, all level five now. Fuck yeah. <sighs> we leveled up too. Yeah, I can remove curse. Uh, at my touch, all curses affecting one creature end. Like as of right, as of right the second we just go ahead and. Uh, I'm gonna have to prepare it. Meaning we need at least one long rest. Yeah. I can help. I can help with this right now. I'll well, help with it right now, then. Save my curse removal for later. Yeah, with your background, red. And your ability to, I mean, this is your job. You take people's blood. You take and put blood into other people. That's what you do. Um, you will not need to roll a medicine check. You will need to have a donor of sorts. Yeah. Before before this, I'll, like, I hear this conversation, but I'll, like, we heard all the stuff that was going on upstairs. I want to go upstairs to see uh about my uh charge the uh the woman who was trying to bamf away yeah 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 okay uh you head upstairs into uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna move this token over but uh yeah i'll move oh, yeah, go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and move it over. it's okay okay uh um i'm gonna bring everyone down here to to view it um you uh, see that the bathroom door is uh, closed shut, and you see, you can hear someone like whimpering on the other side. As you walk down the hall, you notice that there's a pool of blood that is coming from um, your charge's room, your connection's room. As you step around the corner and look through the door, you see her lifeless body on the floor with an arrow uh, still protruding from her neck and going straight through it. You see that there is a burned scorch mark on the floor where there was an attempt of, uh, where she attempted to make a portal. Um, the window is open, snow is blowing in, and cold. There's torn pages of a journal, what looks to be, uh, information of this, your contract, uh, on the table. And, um, one of, t one of the page that looks familiar to you was torn out. Um, beside the contract itself. I got that page back, right? I don't believe you did. Oh, she still has it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think watching the, rewatching, I, I believe that um, a thief took both sheets of paper um, regarding the location of the treasure. The contract itself is still on the table. You can still read your charge, what was supposed to be your contract, but um, so just <laughs> assess assessing things. Yeah, the woman who had my money, who was going to pay me for the job I came here for in the first place, dead. Yes, the contract. The reward. She's 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 dead. Do you look the over the woman, contract? A a random halfling woman got away with the piece of paper with the information of where her where the money is yeah as you're looking I, in my dwarf uh dwarf just went down uh is being brought back up sam is turning into a werewolf and fucking two use a uh <laughs> is a shapeshifter great <laughs> a dwarven man uh peeks around the corner from the door opposite and he goes oh is is it over? I, I, I saw not it. Even, I saw not everything. Even what happened? What happened? Uh, it was, it was, the half orc. He, he came in here, and he, uh, he was trying to get into a room, and then uh, he pulled his rapier out, and pushed himself into the room, and then I, I, I went back into my room, um, but it was the half orc. He, he, do I? Can I do an insight check? He's the one who did this. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Thirteen plus. Yeah, fourteen. Um, the man looks genuinely terrified. Uh, he looks 
down at the corpse of uh, Danae and is confused by the um, arrow slightly, but he's still pretty firm in his belief that the half-orc somehow arrowed her in the neck. Um, he did not <laughs> see the actual altercation that led to her death, but he saw leading up to it. I can I start searching for the half orc or ask him like where did you where'd you see her uh, see him I heard the bathroom oh, sorry, door not... the bathroom door closed shortly after uh, I heard a bunch of yelling and screaming he, he... I head to the bathroom okay um is it unlocked yes um you open the door and when you do so, you see a cowering uh, half-orc on the toilet going, huh, huh. Oh my! Wait, what was his voice? Yes! Very slightly with us. Huh, I survived! <laughs> I win again! Oh. Good job. Good job. Hello. Is it safe out there? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. You did good. You're alive. Ha. Huh. I knew it. I knew this was the right move. Bazrat wins again. Ha <laughs> ha! He walks out. Good for you. He starts I stepping back. I grab him by the throat. I grab him by the throat. Oh, uh, uh <laughs> Excuse me, I... Uh, what's... <laughs> what do you do? What happened to... What happened to the... What happened to, uh... Uh -huh. What happened to what happened to the woman I was in charge of? Oh, <laughs> it's it certainly it wasn't me. I swear there was a, 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 a the, the little dwarf. No, uh, it was a little person came through the window. Racist. I, I mean, mm. I I had my rapier and I and I tried to fight the 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 intruder off. And it was a great battle, and <laughs> you know, I, uh, unf I, I fought her off, and 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 told her, out with you, rapscallion, and uh, and, but unfortunately, uh, the 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 poor woman, oh oh, it, I I couldn't save her, oh. Do I believe him? Uh, roll insight. Thirteen. Uh, no. <laughs> say, I loosen my grip on him. Oh, and say, thank that right. That's well. You did good, and you survived. But I'm going to need your help with something else. He uh, he brushes himself off and goes, oh, well. I'm keeping my I'm keeping my hand like on his shoulder. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help with something. Well, it's a good thing that uh, I'm so resourceful. I do come with a high price. Absolutely. I'll I'll try to like lead him downstairs, back to where everybody else is. Okay. Uh, he follows. I'm gonna grab you two and just head you all over. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, he uh, follows wanna, you downstairs. I want to bring him to Sam. Uh, okay. As he enter, he as he steps downstairs, he says, "Oh, good lord!" Uh, don't worry about all this. He this doesn't uh, have to do with. It. He starts. Don't don't worry. You're safe. He's trying. As he walks past, he tries and checks the pockets of these unconscious people, but you stop him. No, I don't stop. I don't stop. Okay. Oh, okay. He checks the pockets. Um, doesn't find anything and looks disappointed. Um, but yeah. I know what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take <laughs> him to. I take him to Sam. It was like. It's like, Sam, Sam. I. Uh, it seemed really. I seem really out of it, and I. I kind of like. Wake up, rub, rub my I, uh, temple. I yeah. keep I I lay I keep you like sitting sitting down and like start taking out my alchemist set the stuff that I used for like blood transfusions and stuff. He goes, 
Oh, are you making potions? I uh, yes. I dabbled in potions sick. once or twice. Good question. Did any dragonborn uh, serve on the Dark Duchess? No, 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 probably not. Is there a dragonborn here? Uh, me? Uh, yeah. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> other than me, other than me, no. Um, okay, that's why I was I, asking. Other than you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say no. But if you, if you're like believing that he's someone else on the Dutch Dark Duchess, you might just because he's dragonborn doesn't mean that you see him. If you're delirious, you could see him as your captain, for instance. Hmm. If you want to roll you know, constitution and see what you see. You know what? Yeah, let, let's put it up to a roll. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Roll d20. Constitution. Alright. Is this a bloodless thing? No, it's more his backstory uh, peeking through. Uh, 20. 20? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you are lucid. Um, there's... You rolled a high constitution. You don't. You see things for what they are. All right. Okay. I uh. I, I see him bringing out the uh, alchemy kits and whatnot. And it's like. It's like. Are you are you sure? Aren't you just? Actually, should I do a check to see if my character understands what he's doing? Like a I'll medicine. Check. If you roll high enough, I'll explain what I'm doing. All right. Uh, one moment. Let me do a. Uh, we do a quick medicine check. Three. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, my. What are you doing? I'm a character strong suit. It, then, without like a without a good constitution, without a good intelligence, I'll just my character will just say to you like, "Don't worry, I'm going to. You're sick. What's happening is a problem with your blood. Luckily, I'm a blood specialist. I, I'm I'm here to help. I I've can. Um. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna, gonna need to your blood. Not you're not wrong. I'm gonna have to take out a lot of your blood and substitute it with someone else's. I'm sorry. It's gonna it's gonna be a long it's 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 gonna t it's gonna take a it's gonna take a few hours. Uh -huh. And this just relax. It'll be fine. Boz right next to you uh, goes Ha! I wouldn't want to be him. <laughs> yeah. I'll put my hand on Bazarat's shoulder and just so. Did... Unfortunately, I'm going to need I'm I'm going to need someone to take all of the contaminated blood from him. <laughs> who's uh, what? Who's that? Who's that supposed to be? You need my well, help catching it's someone. It's going to be. Is it's, it gonna be that kid over there? And he points it, he points at him, yeah, at the kid. Gonna, don't worry, it's gonna be someone who deserves it. <laughs> and I go an inch away from his face and I breath weapon. I release a, I open my mouth and just breathe a blast of cold magic into his face. Okay, he uh, falls to the ground. He struggles for a minute trying to run past you, but the, your breath weapon just brings him to the floor, and he's unconscious. Um, don't, don't worry. I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll like, and I'll just I start uh, setting up the transfusion to uh, take uh, uh, to take uh, Sam's infected blood and switch it to. Uh, and uh, transfers to uh, this guy's okay. normal blood. Um, the little kid whistle takes whistles his dog and walks out uh, the room. The animals follow him out. Um, he also get ga he gathers Nimsy and uh, the um, unfortunates uh, and um, they all head inside leaving you with Bozrat on the table next to um, Sam. You begin setting up tubes, connecting them, uh, using your specialized blades 
to create incisions and inserting your uh, vials, collecting blood, and beginning a transfusion process. Yeah, I'll go. I'll use my. Uh, I'll use my. Uh, my uh, blood well vial to help with this. I'm. Sam will say I'm not a doctor. I'm gonna guess the illness I might have caught is. Uh, I, I stare at the. Where the like the, I stare at the general like, mass amount of lycanthropes are currently in the end. I'm gonna assume it's some form of lycanthropy. Uh, you would or assume is... correctly. Finnick, beside you. Yeah, I was going off. She with confirms that. Said. She's seen uh, this happen in the wilds. Um, my... over the course of about thirty minutes you are going through this transfusion pl- process. Sam, roll constitution. Oh, that's that didn't roll one moment. Ten. Ten? Okay. Um, you were able to stay conscious during this process um, and you see your blood being moved out of your body and being placed into the half-orc who is still unconscious you also see the half-orc's blood uh your blood as it leaves you has this kind of uh almost a black tint to it a darkness that is uh glowing almost um as it moves into the half-orc and the half-orc uh his blood is a normal red you see, uh, no. going in and out of consciousness, you see Thorf around you, you see Fennec, and you see the studious and efficient Red uh, kind of nodding his approval at the process moving smoothly. Um, to you, can, good you thing, a, uh, can you make a. Can you make a perception check? Sure. Twelve. Wow, that was low. Okay. Um, to you, as the commotion is happening in the kitchen, you hear uh, what sounds like almost like a, a wings beating outside. Um, a kind of like and then you hear then you hear kind of large heavy footsteps crackling in the snow outside Um, you see passing by one of the windows what looks to be a um, a horned owl which pokes its head in through the inn and looks in at you and Nuval. You recognize this to be the form of Arl. And it slowly begins to step into the inn. It doesn't seem to have any threatening presence at the moment as it approaches. The air in the inn suddenly becomes extremely chill, extremely cold, as the god of cold and frost walks in past you, past the animals. Continues into the kitchen, squeezing through the door. Walks. Ah, what the fuck? (laughs) What is happening? It glances slightly at the events happening on the table. It slowly picks up Thorf and moves him to the other side. And then it picks up. 
<laughs> the form. Am I conscious? What's that? Am I conscious? But yeah, you see this happening. You see the giant form of Aural walking past. I will discreetly and very weakly, since I'm in the middle of having my blood transferred, yeah. kind of like under the table, give the middle finger. Okay. Um, you see Fennec, she uh, gets on her knee and, and bows her head as this is all happening. Um, you see Aural gingerly pick up the form of Scoop, who is frozen solid, and kind of cradle him in its arm as it walks out the door. But first, oh. Aural looks back at you. What do you say? Don't you touch him. Aural turns its head and cocks it. The owl eyes two red, almost pearlescent orbs staring deeply into you and says, Aural speaks to you and says, you all are interesting. You continue to be in my way. Fuck you. <laughs> you have proven <laughs> yourselves to be resourceful. And I I'm not gonna i I'm I'm just gonna keep on with the with the process. I, I can't like I can't stop this from like I can't stop to talk. I gotta like focus on yeah. getting Sam healthy, so I'm just letting this happen. By the way, none of you actually see the form of Aural speaking. Um, you all hear this in your head in a kind of collective telepathy. Ooh. And she says, I have a boon of you, if you wish. What? You have continued to get in my way. But you do not understand what you are trying to stop. You do not understand the threat that I am trying to keep at bay. If you continue to get in my way, Icewind Dale and all of this world will fall. I must make necessary sacrifices of the people of this land to keep the world safe. You are standing in my way repeatedly. I allow you to live because I believe you are useful. You're full of shit, just like everybody else in these towns. What's the threat as I take out a notebook and start writing all this down? It cocks its head. Oh, you're killing me. Um, <laughs> its head spins around completely and then faces you again. And it says... You hear in your, its head. There were a people here, the Netherese, who had floating cities long before their empire collapsed. And with its collapse, the cities fell from the sky. The machinations, the engines that powered those cities, are spread throughout the world and are dormant, except for one. Underneath this plain, underneath Icewind Dale, has awoken a device known as the Mithalar. I am trying to keep it hidden. The only way I can do it is by keeping the sun from touching this land. That is keeping it cool enough to remain frozen. However, there are things from other worlds that have come seeking its power and have detected it. Now, One so if, uh, if some adventurous explorers were to say deactivate this mythalar then I would leave then with its threat abated I would be fine with lifting the twilight that I have placed on Icewind Dale it matters not to me the suffering of these people. All that matters is the safety of my realm. The preservation of the cold and ice. This device, if awoken, threatens that. Uh, 
Um, and then you see Aural begin to step out, carrying Scoop with her, saying, Wait, what are you going to do with a boy? This child is a child of ice. He will belong with me. Um, and she begins to step out, carrying him. And um, as she leaves, she says, there's a threat on the horizon for you, if you care of this town. I will tell you of it to keep your, as a favor to you for helping me stop this threat. Okay, so this is getting confusing a little bit, so I'm going to explain what's going on. She's offering to tell you of an incoming threat to Ten Towns for you to help her save Icewind Dale. She doesn't care about Ten Towns, but she does care about Icewind Dale and the ice itself, the cold. So if you, if she helps you stop the threat to Ten Towns, then you can help her stop the threat to Icewind Dale. And the threat to Icewind Dale is the the Netherese thing that she's stopping. Yes, and the right. um, creatures from other planets that have arrived seeking it, sensing so, its power. So we're not going to try to keep it hidden. We're going to maybe destroy it or something like that while also fending off the folks. And she's going to then lift the uh, lift the sun ban yeah she goes that's the right you're making it seem smaller than it is but yes <laughs> well you know sometimes we, we, we're not all you know ice owl gods I'm just a mortal human or <laughs> a mortal dwarf uh, you know my mind is only so big yes uh, you have cousins who are coming from below the surface. All right, cousins, yeah, about time, about time. Yes, they are searching for a metal to build a machine to destroy 10 towns. Oh, that doesn't sound Oh, so that one town we went to where they're like invisible dwarf, in invisible Durgar. Oh, those kind of cousins. Fuck. Fuck, what was that town? Where, I where was that? Shakers. I think it was Brest. Since I'm not aware of it, I'm guessing it's East Haven. It's not even a town. It was I don't Haven. remember any... I don't remember any Dorgar, so... Yeah, there were... It, it was uh, It was, those... uh... It was, uh... Yeah, where, where the, um... The seance was. Because remember the right. seance had the thing, and then it said invisible dwarves in, in the glass. That was next to the lake, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it was so it was. Uh, there was a lot going fucking, on. Yeah, East Haven. Yeah, it was East Haven. I think you guys told Sam that there was invisible uh, stuff. Did you specify invisible dwarves? Yeah. Uh, oh. I forgot. I pretty Davey, much. Davy wasn't here for that either. My my character wasn't here for this either. Yeah, those uh, that was uh. Sam was. You as a character wasn't here. Sam was there. Okay. Oh, Sam Sorry. messed up the seance, but I believe you guys filled him in later. I was just clarifying how much you yeah. filled him. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, uh, Thwarf, you know, knows the invisible dwarves are Durgar, so he would yeah. just be like, "Fuck Durgar." Um. Did so... she say something about a boon? Yeah, basically. I didn't want it at first, but information <laughs> oh the information was yeah. going okay um uh it's like, like some kind of numerical Arl, yeah, Arl, <laughs> uh tilts her head slightly says take this information and do what you will they are building a machine it will destroy oh. the ten towns you have the chance to potentially stop the complete eradication of your human and other people of this town, these towns. This does not matter to me, but 
Should you take this information and do what you will with it, I ask that you cease your interruptions with my machinations of their own. Well, how 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 do we know I, what's uh what you've done, or what some a- otherworldly force has done, or what some Dorgar have done? How are we supposed to know? You know, we're trying to save lives, and you're out here taking them. I think if it's related to people, I can figure that out. And I'm going to ask her, what was the purpose of the serial killer whose mind you touched? Oh, his purpose was to gather sacrifices. People who were situated to be sacrificed and were not, he was supposed to carry out the sacrifices they avoided. I need their sacrifices for my own power to maintain the cult. So it doesn't sound like she's... Uh, she's, Yeah, it's fucked up, but it's for... It's for a good purpose. We just need to, like... We've got to stop it, then. Yeah. Got to it st- sounds like she's a lawful, neutral goddess. Yeah. She's lawful. We're not going to fight a god. So. Yeah, yeah. We got to yeah. break the mythalar. She's yeah. lawful something. So, uh, um, not- she nods her head and, um gingerly takes scoop with her as she begins walking out into the ice uh could i is the is the blood transfusion done once this happens um yes she leaves? you see bazrat beginning to wake up and he goes ah i i have a craving oh god yeah. Is that meat cooking over there? I, I'm hungry. Yeah, that'll, yeah, that'll happen. And I stab him with my spear okay. in the neck. Um, roll damage. It's going. Oh, I'll use all of my stuff. So like blood curse with. Two, <laughs> four. Eight, okay. Eleven. 14, uh, 14 damage. Um, you, s- where did you stab him? In the neck. Yeah, you decapitate him. Um, with my, with the uh, silver, with the silver spear. Yep. Silver tip spear. You see his eyes, uh, go wide in shock as his head slowly begins to roll off the table and um, like oh. dark ichor begins to spurt from his neck where the lycanthro blood I'll, I'll look over at Sam just well it was a success Su- successful serve good job you're all cured to you I, I need to to you I need a... to talk to you oh well wait should we worry about the townspeople yes we, we should. we're all where formed people only moments ago there was a little bit of a, a unique situation involving a uh, druid. Um, it just got... The transfer was a particularly unique situation with uh, your... with Sam, but the others are not suffering from... Um, okay, so they're not cursed and just forced to transfer by the transform by the druid. They were just forced into a transformation that wasn't theirs. That's correct. They're not cursed. Yes. Okay. They don't have a long-term situation with the death of the druid. But within the world, do we know that as characters? You can investigate. <laughs> um, I'm, if you look to I'm gonna them, they stab appear... stab everybody's arm with a small dagger and see if it turns red or black. Okay, uh, they bleed red. You go one by one to each of the uh, people. Nimsy, however, um, the old woman Nimsy begins to slowly... Uh, open her eyes and looking at you. You can tell that with her age and with what just happened, her transformation from werebear to elderly halfling is still putting her on her last legs. And as she looks to you, um, she she whispers, uh, she would like to see to you. Well, sorry, Davey. Gotta, gotta go. So, 
To you, uh, Nimsy wants to speak with you. I go over to Nimsy. Okay, she goes, Oh, you and... You and that dwarf in there have been... You are the last remaining hope of this town. I recognize you and Dwarf, and I appreciate all you've done for us. And She hands you a small amulet, um, and she goes, I'm not going to last much longer, and this town needs help. I want you to take on the role of Speaker of the town. Sure. Lonely Wood is yours to govern and protect. Um, and she hands you a small amulet that has the uh, the sigil of Lonely Wood um, embossed on it. And um, you see her kind of take her last breath as she lays back down and peacefully passes with that. Um, so she's handed you the metaphorical keys to the town. Governor to you. To you. To you and Thor for the only people that she recognized from the she original. She would recognize Nuval, but not from the original group. Yes. Because Nuval's been to town several times already. Yeah, but to you and Thor have a special place in her heart from... Yeah. Yeah. From being one of the original cast members. Yeah. <laughs> so to you, you are now in the role of speaker of the town of Lonelywood. Um, okay. Thorf, your inn is now the last bastion of civilization in this town. And um, you guys can help rebuild the town itself. If you, cho yeah, if you choose to. I feel, I feel like now that we know that this sacrifice thing has to happen for like this all to be kept cool while we hunt for this thing, that's what we should focus on. But there is the Draugr problem to consider. Well, yeah, we're probably going to have to go through the Draugr to get to the Mithalar, and that's okay with me. You're okay dealing Wait, Draugr? with your cousins? No. But we Draugr. know that Active Durgar, song. yeah. Durgar. Durgar. I don't want to fight no undead Nords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be cool, though, because I could we just turn the, them. We know the Dugar are building something in our in some towns. I mean, yeah. We should at least investigate, but we can't be everywhere at once. They can take us to them. There are, they, they probably have the most information about where that thing is. If I know the Durgar, Dwar du if I know the Durgar, Durgar. and a do. Durgar, Durgar first, then Nebri's and problem. Red, these guys, they're not cousins. Durgar are uh, well, they're kind of cousins. They're an old. They're no cousins of mine. You <laughs> <laughs> Dwarf says, well, "This is an ancient oh. clan. This is an ancient clan driven mad by mind flares, turned into uh, a subterranean yeah. race of greedy, evil." Relax. Creatures, re re relax, relax. I've but dealt with cults. Start I, off I, I, I are no. I know. I mine. understand. I understand what. Uh, I understand dealing with uh, lesser family, lesser, lesser family members. I've Don't. I've killed I've killed kobolds before. I understand. This this may be a hunch, and I could be completely in the wrong here. But you you guys all know that creepy teddy bear person, right? Oh, God. Yeah, right. two seconds. Yeah. Two seconds I dealt with that guy. No, that's a... That was... No. Yeah, that is a... I agree. It's quite that way from him. He is a big ball of nope. However, he mentioned that his known brother was working on a machine. Didn't Oral use the word machine to describe what threatens ten towns? Perhaps they're one in the same. Well, uh... The uh, uh was, they're they're oh. gnomes. Fuck. I think the gnomes are working on something else. The machines, yeah, she made it sound like they were the machine. things that kept the cities afloat for the Netherese society. Fuck, I wasn't the one who was keeping track on all the Netherese plot lines. That was Sarge. Sarge is out there and he cares about the Netherese stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, the Dorgar are trying to get it, and they're making something to get them down there. No, I. but I'm also saying a mind flare is out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a mind flare looking for another ace. Yeah. Oh, so we track the Dorgar and mind flares to the A Mithara wizard mind flare. And destroy a wizard mind flare. I believe for mind flares, the proper term is like an arcanist. Yeah. Arcanist. Wait, no, arcana, uh, arcana, not arcana law. With, no. uh, a wizard mind flare with future tech. With future <laughs> magic. You guys are fucked. <laughs> um, I am so okay. sorry. I'm so sorry that I did this to us. <laughs> uh, I still, I still want to pull two you aside. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two's gonna can I, aside, can I like aside, bring, aside. Can I like bring you upstairs? Can I like bring to you upstairs? Uh, last time you brought someone somewhere, uh-huh. they died. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like taking the, I'm cleaning the blood off the uh, half orcs, uh, the half orcs blood off my spear, and then like, to you, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. We can talk in this public space. I don't think you want to have this conversation with people around. Oh. And Al Hoon. Yes. All right. Arcanist Mind Flare. Al Hoon. Uh, yeah. Are, where, where are you taking. Uh, where are Upstairs you? Upstairs to Zodal's body. Okay. Um,. Do you, uh, to you, do you follow him? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move you real quick. You all both up here, uh, next to the body. Uh, Nival's not there, but I'm gonna drag him up there so I can see things. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. If anyone wants to be there, please go ahead to witness. To you, I, um, this lady, she was paying me to do a job. You know the stuff that I can do with the blood, right? Yes. Right. People have paid me to extract blood from certain creatures, but, for magic purposes, but, uh, I don't think I'm getting paid for this job anymore. So, I don't think this job is going to happen. Do you understand? Yes. I was paid to come to Lonely Wood specifically to get the blood of a shapeshifter. Um, well, since you're not getting paid anymore... Specific- Specifically, two shapeshifters. Oh. Two shapeshifters who are supposed to be in jail. Oh, this this sounds slightly familiar. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Are you a twin? Yes. Oh. It seems like you're my mark. Oh, God. For a job that I'm not getting paid for anymore, so it's not my problem. Well, um, did you need all of my blood? Oh, the process of taking your blood would, would have been, well, since I'm not on the clock anymore, fatal. Oh, okay. There's a lot. Well, there's somebody interested. I don't know who the actual contact is, but uh, well, Zoda was my contact. This dead woman here was my contact, but whoever I was going to actually give the money to, uh, give the, your blood to, they would have been able to do some crazy shape shifting properties with it. But it would have, whoever your twin is, would have killed both of you. Well, my twin is still not around, so I don't know how they would have gotten to him unless 
oh, they would have paid, they were paying me to go to the jail to get you out, to get both of you out, specifically to kill you. I, that was, I, I want you to understand, that was before all the ice and the owls and the crazy magic shit that's been going on. I feel like this has been put to the back burner, but I'm not being paid to kill you anymore, so I don't think there's a point in hiding it from you. Oh, well, sweet. Yeah. Well, thank you for also, telling Also, uh, I mean, until until a couple of hours ago, I didn't know you were my contact. I didn't know you were shapeshifter, so. You're professional. Lucky we became close friends before I found out that I had to kill you. Yeah, really. We are friends. We are friends, right? Good friends. Aren't we? Good friends. Um, Dang, real close. But... <laughs> Good. 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 Just out of curiosity, how are you going to get my brother out of jail? Bribes. Easy. Bribe. Bribes, bribes, bribes. What's to use brother's name? I don't know the names. Do you? I'm asking. Uh, oh shit. Uh, uh, I need a... Red will. Red will ask. What? In curiosity, what was your brother? What is your brother's name? Miso. <laughs> Miso. Well, if it's any comfort, the fact that they were paying me to go in to get both of you means that he's still alive. I just wanted it to rhyme. I still want <laughs> so. to get my brother out of jail. Have Name fun with that. And he walks away. <laughs> yeah. Harsh. Harsh. People want to call this guy Sarge. Uh, he hi. seems more like a Sarge. I, after the blood transfusion, um, I... I, I, I sit there and think to myself for a while, and after doing so, I'll take out a pen and paper if I can find a paper. Um, go ahead and write down something, seal it in an envelope, and go over to Thor. Alright. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thor. This was probably the closest call we've had in a while. I think that's fair to say, correct? Yeah, I got pretty hairy. Uh, literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, inspiration! Thank you? <laughs> Fuck it, that was... When you do dad jokes like that, man, it's, it's worth it. There we go. Okay. Back to scene. I suspect things will only get increasingly worse in the near future. If I die, open this letter, but I'm trusting you, because I think you're the most trustworthy out of all of us. Don't open this letter until I'm deceased. Are we clear? Yeah, buddy. Alright, I'll hand off uh, my will. Take it, put it in a spot in my armor. I don't know. There's a spot. <laughs> I put it there. Um, Don't let Nuval know that exists. He will want to read it because it's newsworthy. Yeah. That uh, last, last rights of a hero. Ooh, ditch. Forf <laughs> immediately forgot about that letter as soon as he put it in his armor. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> but it's safe. It's safe. He'll remember it when you die. What's this? That? Oh, yeah. If you die... <laughs> yeah. I love this. I love this RP. This is a very this has been very RP heavy. I love this. It's fun to pretend. <laughs> it's also kind of uh, a way so to what, like, decompress after the uh intensity of yeah. yeah. Yeah, what just happened. The 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 new piece I'm not even going to say it. I think I thought something else was going to happen, and then, you know. So now I'm just like, oh, I'm still a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Uh, no backup character needed. <laughs> yeah, they can all just you guys just let's go back home. <laughs> Never mind. Um, um, then it comes I over like, and claps uh, you on the shoulder and gives you a, yeah. a nod. Are you okay? Yeah, that. Uh, not very often you see a god walk through your inn. Yeah, yeah you know, honestly, I thought it'd be like a different god, but <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you were uh, expecting to see your god. Always. Huh. Strangely um, you, absent. You two, I'm glad you're uh, okay. You two share a moment, and it's uh, <laughs> a, like a kind of like a a moment of uh, connection. Like yeah. A, like a nodding of both having survived near death experience, kind of. Oh yeah, moment. gotcha. The kind of stuff you don't think it's gonna like survive a couple, you know, no. like a it's not a long term thing. We're um, just connected by trauma. Yeah, and she is um, going to be your companion. I, if that wasn't already established, she is uh, going to be by your side from here on out, with the understanding that she's. Uh, her god, Aural, and your god, Buffett, seem to be uh, working together somehow. Okay. In in some form of mystical manner, she that's what yep. she believes. I don't know really where she got the idea that. What oh, is they fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what Buffett's involvement is, and, like, Oral's thing is kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's what, like, Thwarf just kind of agreed to with, uh, you know, going to get the thing. And so, yes. Yeah, Finnick uh, shrugs her shoulders, too. She's like, fucking gods. Yeah. <laughs> All this is unspoken, too. We just, like, nod and look. Nod. Look off. Sure. Look back. Um, you guys share a, a long moment of uh, cool emotional closeness. So I, you're saying I can do? She's my sidekick, right? Yeah, yeah. She's your companion, sidekick. Cool. Give me them sweet, sweet stats. Okay. Whenever you can. Oh, oh so all these bodies and stuff. Oh, they fuck. <laughs> That's up to Thor, honestly. If. Uh, Trey, can you do that from that like can you just be can can we just have that point of view all the time? That voice? There you go, right there. No no. Oh. No, I, I don't I don't think so. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Not yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe we should um, put these uh, bodies up and bury them and stuff. Yeah. Might be a little hard because the ground is frozen. Well, we gotta do some of the math. This I want to like get you know get them out, oh. bury them, whatever. Have some kind of shrine. They I want to do like pyres. a continual flame. Yeah. You'd want to burn them. Yeah, typically they light uh, kind of funeral pyres. Um, okay. I'll take the time to gather everyone from the village for two reasons: one, so everyone can be there for the funeral pyre, but two, so I can do a head count, see how many people survived. Is this now, like, the next day or something? Because didn't this pretty much happen, like, late at night? Yeah, it's getting around um, morning it's, uh, of the next day. Can we long rest and then do this? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Well, we should move. Well, no, because that'll attract animals. Never mind. I'm going to um, tell Kanet, don't eat the dead bodies. They're our friends. Uh, the town is safe. Uh, you see Kanut, uh sniffing at the, the remains. You separate the bodies into um, two piles. You can have the wolf. Yeah. The pile of wolves and a pile of um, X people. Wait, when, when you're commanding the animals to not eat the bodies, was that... That was purely telepathy, right? That wasn't out loud? No, that was speak with the animals. Okay. So I wouldn't understand that. Got it. We get some pelts from the wolves. Um, you all head yeah. out to your. Um, you all spend the night. Uh, you all. You don't spend the night. You just take the next day to rest and um, 
kind of help people <laughs> recover uh, from their trauma of the past few weeks um, surviving against the uh, druid. And um, you take this time to rest yourselves uh-huh. up and get back to full health um, and also kind of plan your next steps of, of where you are, what to do now. You have this charge from the god of cold who uh, kind of hinted at a, a threat around the horizon, over the horizon um, facing ten towns, but hasn't given you enough specifics to pinpoint where where exactly this threat is going to be coming from. May I both half out of level up and half out of general principle? Is it alright if I replace one of my cantrips? trips? Yeah. This is this is the time to do so. Okay. If anyone needs to reorganize their spell slots or uh, remembered spell list, this would be the time to do it. Uh, I have done that. To you, the people of Lonely Wood come to you and offer you a, a combination of pleas for help and gratitude for carrying the, the torch of Nimsy. I tell them that I will do my, my best to help the town, but we also have to help the root of the problem, get to the root of the problem. So we're going to try to solve that. And I'm going to have to leave for a little bit to do that, but I will be back. Okay. You, I, You're going to I, need an acting speaker. Yeah, we need to leave somebody else in charge. I, I point out that you will need a vice governor. What? Yes. What? what? The scrap shander lady. She seemed Controlled. relatively reasonable. Uh, she did not survive. Well, yeah, I don't think there's many. Oh, what about that dwarf? Oh yeah, uh, Lynn. Oh. Uh, the uh, Lynn Trollbane or something like that. Yeah. What is? She, yeah. Wasn't she gonna give? Did she ever give us money for killing that serial killer? Yeah. Cool. Where'd she go? He left. Uh, she was one of the werewolves he killed. But. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But you know what? What about that Bones dwarf in the end? I made. I made. So the werewolves were dwarven people. The wolves were halflings. So I can make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna retcon something because I just made a like random rando dwarf person from the uh, thing. One of the one of the werewolves that were upstairs uh, that broke into the upper levels. Uh, you head up there and you see that there's an unconscious form of Miss. Uh, Fucking what's her name? I are uh, Tor- uh, not Torga. Uh, Lynn Lynn Trollbane is unconscious. Cool. Uh, who you had used before as uh, a kind of a stand-in to run your inn. Just, just give her more responsibility when we're not here. Run the town and the inn. She goes, uh, uh, great. I'll uh, yeah. You know what? This is fine. I'll run. I'll run Lonelywood in your stead until you get back. Um, you can. I, I am gonna ask for uh, one thing though. Every uh, every so often for us to rebuild, I think uh, we're just gonna need money. For, you got it. Uh, so she makes a quick plan um, and says that. A total of, uh, I, this is going to be hard to swallow, but it'll probably take around almost 5,000 gold to fix Good everything. Lord. But we only have like 300 all together. We can do one thing at a time. I'll break it up into little pieces and uh, let you know what we're fixing up. We can start with the shops and try and generate some revenue. For the town and um, try and get some industry going here again. We'll get some people out into the woods now that they're safe and we'll get lumber moving 
for the rest of the towns. Um, after after I do my head count, how many people survive? Good question. Let me do this real quick. So the town was decimated, um, and it had a population of 100. So you're down to about 10 people. Holy shit. Um, but decimated wow. is reduced, reduced by, by 10. 10. Yeah, it's reduced by 10. I'm reversing that because I said it wrong. Oh. You're, you're correct. It would be 10 people dead. I'm going to say okay. it was 90% people wiped out. Oh, That's what it means these days. That, that's all on me. But um, <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's around 10 people left. Uh, there were 50 soldiers um, who were just kind of tribal uh, warriors, but they kind of a militia. They uh, could not stand yeah. against the knight. If this town isn't against goblins living here, maybe we should have sent the nice goblins to stay here instead of building up around Redwater. Um, but then again, they got a whole little bustling city over there now. So. Uh, well, uh, when I you say this, um, I'm going to pop you back in. A uh, halfling steps in from downstairs. Uh, and she... Oh yeah, they hate goblins. I forgot about that. Let's see if I can get her in here. Um, a halfling steps uh, from above the inn. She steps down. Where is she? She looks like this. And uh, if I can find her... Da -da -da -da. There we go. Uh, she approaches your party. And she... Uh, looks around and says uh, I heard your issue and um, I want to let you know that the goblins of Galaga um, they'd be happy to help you um, uh, she drops her uh, well no she just she just tells you that she uh assures you though she goes if you all need help rebuilding this town you helped us establish a village of our own and we in turn would be happy to assist in your efforts with our mining operations we appreciate it and you don't have to disguise yourself here okay uh you picked up on it um she drops the uh, facade and you see that she is uh, whoops um, she is in fact a goblin uh, yes I want to predator handshake this goblin okay <laughs> uh, you do so um, solidifying our relations and with that you all have um <laughs> She kind of seals the deal. It's not. I knew she was a goblin, and still, when she does it, I'm like, Whoa. but you know, I try to, I try to play it off. And she winks and says, "Yeah, uh, come visit us down in Gulaga. We're, uh, we're doing all right. There's some issues, but I think we can help. Anytime you're starting a new but town here. from scratch, it's gonna, you're gonna run into problems. But since we've gone through the deal, uh, I think." And you pointed us the way. I think we owe you one. So you got you got some allies in us. Glad to hear it. We we need to work together as much as possible. All right, that's called diplomacy, y'all. <laughs> instead of trade agreements, we can send down uh, timber and fish. They send up uh, rocks and iron. Yeah. Um, Support everybody. Make the ten towns one giant city of people that we rule. I uh, Naval well, was saying this out loud. I tried to get audience with uh, speaker to you, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> you approach to you gingerly. Um, I'm like, all right. After after doing a uh, census and determining that we have 90 people, uh, what percentage of them are able to work? I thought oh, it was ten no, people. You have ten people. You have ten people. people uh, ten. Okay. Ten people remaining of the town. Mm -hmm. And maybe some help from, a, or not maybe some sort of goblin help 
coming maybe soonish, that depending on how troubled they're. You'll need. Um, so we'll probably uh, have to go down there first. Yeah, Hook kind of tells you. She looks at you guys and says, "Come visit us. We'll. Uh, we got some things that we need to take care of before we can help you out. But you got oh, us. Course. You got help from us. Side quest. Once, quest. once side. you complete this side quest. That's- <laughs> I thought they'd just start doing it. Oh, no. you guys are adventurers. That's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> but um, a- after seeing uh, to use uh, Vice Governor's plans, I'm like, okay, that's a good start. Um, I feel like we should also prioritize general safety. So immediately after having a source of revenue, I think the next best thing is to fix up and fortify the inn, and then we can slowly move people out of the inn back into their homes one at a time as we repair their houses. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, we're at one hour, 30 minutes, so I'm going to take a pause here, grab some beer. I think this is also a good time to say that you guys can spend um, kind of a, a, a long period of time of uh, downtime um, to kind of figure out where what your next move is. You guys have been discussing it, but... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a beer specifically. <laughs> okay.